Hi students, we have already seen six trigonometric ratios. Now, today we are going to learn something very interesting related to those six trigonometric ratios. And that is nothing but relations between trigonometric ratios. That means there exists some relation between those six trigonometric ratios. Let's learn that. For that first we require a right angle triangle. So we have a right angle triangle ABC where we know AC is the hypotenuse. Let's consider an acute angle and we take that acute angle A and we take the measure of that acute angle A to be theta, right? So we have with respect to theta, now which side is the opposite side? Yes, we know BC is the opposite side and we know that AB is the adjacent side which we have here, right? This is something which we had already learnt, right? Now, look at this and tell me in this given figure, what will be sine theta? Now, we know sine is nothing but it is opposite upon hypotenuse. It is opposite side upon the hypotenuse. So, which is opposite side here? It's nothing but BC, right? And which is the hypotenuse here? It is AC. So, that means we know in this figure sine theta is equal to BC upon AC, right? So, we took that sine theta is equal to BC upon AC, right? Now, let's take one more trigonometric ratio. Observe very carefully. We are trying to get a relation. Observe. So, in the given figure, what is going to be cosec theta? Now, we know according to the definition, cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon the opposite side, right? Here, the hypotenuse is AC and the opposite side is BC. That means we know that cosec theta is equal to AC upon BC, right? So, now we are seeing, can we get some relation between this sine theta and cosec theta? Observe. What we are doing here is, let's multiply both the ratios and if we multiply both the ratios what do we get right let's multiply so when we multiply those two statements we will multiply the left hand side and also the right hand side so let's do that get sine theta into cosec theta is equal to bc upon ac that is the right hand side of the first statement multiplied by the right hand side of the second statement that is ac upon bc now what happens bc and bc gets cancelled we also get ac and ac gets cancelled so what do we get now? We get sine theta into cosec theta is equal to 1. Beautiful, right? So, you got a relation that sine theta into cosec theta is equal to 1, right? Now, what, let's do one thing. Let's take this cosec theta onto the right hand side. Now, if I shift that cosec theta onto the right hand side, what do we get? We get sine theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta. Similarly, can we do one more thing? Yes, we can shift sine theta onto the right hand side. So, now if we shift sin theta onto the right hand side, what do we get? We get cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. That means we got a relation between sin theta and cosec theta. Sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta and cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. That means sin theta and cosec theta, they are reciprocals of each other. Is this much clear? Wasn't that easy?